Hello everybody and welcome to another Pixelforlife.com video tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to make a really cool animation for an intro. And we're just going to make our duration 10 seconds, 1280 by 720. Go ahead and hit that OK button. From here we're going to click on Project, double click in this window. We're going to load up this BG that I have provided in the description below. We're just going to kind of center it up. We can make it a little bit smaller. About like that. The reason I want to make it too small is because there is a copyright thing down in the corner. And I don't want to see that. So... Just leave it about like that, and that looks actually really cool. Now we're going to be doing a couple of different things. Number first thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and create our text. And uh, normally I would do like a 3D text with this, but because of time, I'm not going to. Instead, I'm just going to put uh, some words in here, and I'm just going to put introduction. And uh, go ahead and size this up. Hit uh, Control A on it, size it up. About like that. We'll go ahead and just center this here. Right like that. And I'm just going to copy and paste that a couple of times. Like 10. And we're going to go ahead and grab from the second one. And then shift and... Or actually just hit the up arrow twice. Deselect number 2 twice. Deselect number 3 twice. Deselect 4 twice. Deselect 5 twice, deselect 6 twice, deselect 7 twice, deselect 8 up twice, deselect 9 up twice. And now we're going to go ahead and select all of those, and we will go ahead and just give it kind of a mid to dark uh, color like so. We will then select number 10. Go ahead and just uh, lighten that one up there a little bit to AD, AD, AD. Copy that, hit OK. Probably need to do it to this second one here as well. That looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and do it to this next one. And just going to have to do this to a couple of them because I want it the thickness a certain way. And yeah, so hit can hit. And now you can see there we have some uh, 3D looking text. Not perfect by any means, but it's pretty decent. So, go ahead and select all of these, go to layer, and we are going to go ahead and, alright, so from here we need to go ahead and create our particular um, event that is going to be going on besides this, so I'm going to go ahead and lock all these layers here together. I will then go ahead and grab these. Alright, so from here we're going to go ahead and right click, go to new. We'll go ahead and click on solid, call it particular. We'll also go to new and light and call this emitter. Hit OK. Now, emitter, we're going to go ahead and hit P on that for our position. Click once. We will go ahead and just move this to the top right corner. At the four second mark, we are going to go ahead and drag this uh, to the center. And then at the eight second mark, we will go ahead and drag this across. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to make this a smooth transition like so. And I want it to have a couple of seconds for the stuff to fade out at the end. From there, we're going to go ahead and click on Particular, right-click on that, go to Effect, Trap Code, and click on Particular. The emitter is going to be from the light. We'll go, and you can see here we have the, this uh, some uh, stuff going on here. And I'm going to go ahead and up this to about 1,200 or so, maybe even more than that. Let's go with 5,000. And there we go. That looks pretty good. Right, that's 500, supposed to be 5,000. There we go. You see there are a lot of particles. Velocity at zero. And then we'll just slowly up that little bit to about like that. Velocity random. Up. Distribution up. Velocity for motion. About like that. Put this at like 15 and 15, just to kind of make it a little bit different. 
click on particle and we actually want to click on um, these different ones kind of see what we can get you know let's just keep it a sphere but let's go ahead and just uh, change the lifespan of those down to like 2.2 size of those is going to be two and you can see here we get like a really fine looking dust the feather we're going to go ahead and drag that up and then over life you can see there's different colors now and we'll go ahead and just like that go back to our size There we go, kind of like that. Opacity random. And. Alright. Put this like two. So it's kind of like that. You can see here now we have this like different colored light street thing kind of going on. It looks kind of cool. It's not too bad. Let's go ahead and extend the life of that to like 3.6 seconds. That way it still has time, like so. Go all the way to the end, down this to where it's no longer showing on the screen. And that shows us exactly how long we want our event to be. And let's see here. Turn this to on. Yeah, it doesn't really do anything for this kind of particle type, so we'll get rid of that. Gravity will be like 0.3. And then we want to go to our aux system, and we want to turn that um, to continuously. And we're going to put these particles up to like 400. Size will be like 0.5. We just want it to kind of be all random. Um, opacity. like five percent we want it to be behind it but definitely showing gravity will be like 15 maybe even some more gravity let's see here yeah there we go you can see these things like dropping down here rotate speed 41 color from main full hundred feather put that all the way up to 100 and that looks pretty good so from there, we're going to go ahead and copy and paste this particular. We're then going to go back down here. We're going to turn off the aux system because we don't need that. We're going to set the color to at birth. It's going to be white. We're then going to put the velocity um, to zero. And you can see that we have a white streak kind of going through it now. And we're going to put this emitter size at zero, zero, and zero. And you can see here we have a nice light streak. From there, we're going to go ahead and just take this life of it way down to where we just kind of want to have a 0.2. And we'll then go ahead and up the size of this to like that. Particles, I'm going to drop this way down to about like that. And then we're going to do our opacity, drop that down some because we don't want it to be that bright. We just kind of want to have like a, a leading um, white streak here. And you can see that that's doing that now. So that looks pretty good. So from there, we'll go ahead and go back to our main frame here. We want to go ahead and grab our emitter, copy and paste that on our first frame. We are going to simply drag this over to the other side, go to our eight second frame or eight second frame which is like that we'll actually open this up so we can see we need to be right in the center of it select that drag this over to the other side go back to our four second mark Grab that keyframe. Let me see. 
see there, we'll just make the swoop go the other way. And now you can see we have two of these going like this. And right here at this four second mark is actually right where we want to be. So we're going to go ahead and grab all of our introduction text here. And go ahead and unlock these. Grab all these introduction texts. Drag the sliders all the way over to here. Click uh, T on your keyboard for opacity. And we want to go ahead and then lock all those. Click on, uh, or actually unlock those. I don't know why I did that. All right, so. Select that opacity, put that to 0%, drag these back, and then go forward by about a second or so, and put that opacity all the way up. So now we see them meet in the middle, and then our text will uh, appear. All right. And that looks pretty good. So now I'll go ahead and pause this, do a RAM preview so you guys can see it. All right, guys, and here is the preview of it. You can see here I hit the space bar, got our nice little like streaks, and bam, our introduction comes in. And then they go off screen and it fades out. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this very short video tutorial by Pixel for Life. It was just a real simple one just to kind of get you guys into Trap Code Particular. I'm going to call this the Trap Code Particular Basics video. So hope you enjoyed it, and we sure hope that you guys will check us out online, pixelforlife.com, youtube.com, forward slash pfltuts, and, of course, our Facebook page and Google+, along with our Twitter. Thanks, guys, and have a great day.